disaster has struck. We were going across the bridge with the grain cart and the bridge gave out. So today we're here with Nathan Wood. He's from Monroe Tractor. He's setting up our precision display on our combine. This is a combine that's new to us. We got this in the spring. Um, it's sexy, really. It's a good fit for us. So, let's get to it. Hi, Nate. How, How you doing? doing? Not too bad. All right, Nate, what are we doing today? Well, uh, we're just kind of doing the startup for your 2020 yield sense. That's a nice, that's a nice display right there, Nate. There you go. What's this dinosaur on the ceiling? <laughs> uh, so this is the AFS Pro 600. Yeah. Uh, that's the standard monitor that would have come with this combine for the for the day. Um, it uh, would have been doing all of your yield moisture monitoring, things like that, as well as uh, allowing you to look at all of your combine settings. So what's the advantage of going from the Pro 600 to a precision system? I mean, I think really um, it boils down to your operation. Obviously, you guys and whoever was running this before, uh, they run a lot of the precision planting stuff already. Yeah. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier for you to move this from, or data from your planter to your combine and have it all in one. Um, and then the other thing the other big portion of it is is going to be your clean grain elevator. Um, precision planting does use a different clean grain elevator than your OEM, and so there's going to be a, a load bucket on there that is going to recalibrate every time it goes around. Wow. So you're going to get <coughs> better yield readings than OEM system. Yeah, so you'll be able to view hybrids as your harvesting with this display yep yep It'll so as, so track. this was on our planner and came and now it's in our combine and we'll be able to access all that info yep yep you'll be able to do variety tracking so um, when you pull up the field you'll be able to load in your variety maps in here it'll actually show uh, the background will be different colors for different varieties when you pull in to say one variety maybe it's a little bit more wet than a different variety so you'll know where the split is in the field and you can harvest you know the dry half and let the wet half continue yeah. to dry down you'll be able to track loads so if you want to know how much is going on a truck uh, you'll be able to do that in here as well as keep a list of that load you'll be able to see acres uh, wet and dry uh, so you can actually put in what your dry moisture would be considered mm -hmm. uh, and it'll keep track of both wet and dry Cool. That's a big thing for us because muck corn has a real tough time drying down in the fall. It's such rich organic soil that the trigger for it to stop growing is just, it doesn't happen like it would on the upland. We're trying to find the right hybrid that works for our climate and our soil type and having this data available is going to help determine which uh, hybrid does that for us. We've got some more setup to do. Hopefully we'll be in the field this week. Any other questions? I do not. Good morning. Hello and welcome to Cervello Farms and the Off The Muck YouTube channel. Today is going to be our first day of corn harvest. The combine is ready. We've done some adjusting to it and have done a little bit of harvesting, but just enough to get her calibrated and go through all the settings of that machine because it's new to us so that takes some time and you don't get as much done in a day as you like but oh well it's good to go so the corn's good to go we're good to go we're gonna harvest corn i'm gonna get the mac over here unhooked from this trailer and then we're gonna put it on our grain trailer hey rain have to struggle from every day to harvest corn yeah. and then then we'll all be there and we'll start moving grain and if Eddie could just put it in the bin for now. Okay, here we are. Put it in four wheel drive and go. Good 
and the year that it was made. Just kidding. That was a 1988 model, and wow, did they make some improvements since then. This thing is just light years ahead of what that machine ever was, or could have been. We're running eight rolls with this, we are running six rolls with the other machine, and we are moving about three miles an hour, and 240, 250 wet bushel corn, 10 foot socks with a chopping head. Before we had a six roll head at 1.7 miles an hour to 2 miles an hour. Did the same yielding corn and not a chopping head. And this is just unreal. Having a yield monitor and having controls and just the comfort of the cab is just amazing how much they've done in the last 30 years this is a good size machine for us weight of the machine and the horsepower the capabilities fit our size operation when you're out on the muck what you don't want is a lot of weight and a lot of extra horsepower. It just there's no bottom in some spots, and you just got to be careful with your weight and rotation. So this has some pretty good tires on it. It has 20.8s, and they're doing all right. I think in the future we're possibly going to think about an upgrade of some flotation tires. We have hit some spots that we didn't really care for how this thing did. Uh, this is a Drago Series 2 chopping head, eight rows wide, bought it used. This head needed a lot of work. Got your fingers. Okay. Ball aboard! We got ourselves some co pilots. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, let's go combining. Yeah, let's go combining. And anybody who doesn't behave is going in that head and they're going to get turned into corn kernels by the combine. Got it? sun is in my sockets and I can't see. Oh, who did that? Kids found the horn. Honk if you're corny. <laughs> Get going. It's getting dark. There's a pipe for surface water in the field, and I would like to find that before it gets dark. Harvesting. Filling. has struck. We were going across the bridge with the grain cart and the bridge gave out. So I'm up at the packing house. I'm getting a truck to back under the grain cart. Hopefully 
the back end of the truck long enough to get to the spout and unload the grain car and then we gotta pull it out. Alright, here we are. Yeah, that gave way. Our plan's gonna work. Toe strap, we'll just pull the truck off and then use the truck to pull you out. Where do I hook? like it pushed it anywhere so it must have just been hollow for the love of god get this thing going easy does it don't want to fall back in Walking to the truck, over. All right, everything's back up and running. We're going. Combine us some more corn. Good morning. We did some corn harvesting and it went late into the night. Knocked about 20 acres out. Doing some maintenance this morning, blowing it off, greasing it. This farm has two sides about 20 acres on this side, about 21 on the other side. The road splits the middle. It's really deep muck, really soft, so a lot of grain cart action. Spaghetti Eddie's doing the windows. Yeah, hi buddy. Okay, Eddie says hi. Gonna hopefully get that uh, other side of the road done and back to the home farm. Get that farm started, switch over to Baines. The weather is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. Combine in some corn. Happy to see what kind of job this thing's doing. A few little kernels here, but everything's off the cob. We're getting whole cobs, and then it's crushing cobs. There's no cob in the tank. There's no stock in the tank. It's a good clean sample, so those few little kernels, a little bit of loss. But uh, so you can see what kind of job that head is doing. All this stuff is opened up and cut and chopped to manageable lengths. Here I am next to it. I'm about six foot tall, handsome. And that's all the way up there. So you're taking all that and turning it into mulch like that. It's amazing. Knives on it for residue management. That residue management is going to play a huge part next year when we go to plant this with onions. This is our first year with the head, and so far, so good. We're happy with its performance. It's alive! It's alive! The old whale. Back when horsepower was fueled by gasoline. Thank God that changed. But it does the job. 
for the most part. She's old. Well, move to a new field. Got I'm new riders. I'm gonna see them. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. What are you doing? I'm Combine and corn. Do you love your daddy or your mommy more? Daddy. Hey! <laughs> Say bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Say see you next time. See you next time. Subscribe, like, and share for more videos like this one.